this is the uh, the diode that we're going to be installing in the S1000 and um, I'm also going to uh, add some extension wires so what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder those wires onto the ends of the diode and then on these ends I'm going to put fuse taps um, so uh, I'll show you how it's all installed these are the fuse taps that uh, that I got and uh, they'll be uh, installed on the bottom to make it easier to uh, to stick this end underneath the uh, the relay uh, this is the um, the set of diodes I had to buy as you can see I only need one and um, the rest of them are going to be kept aside so here's our digital multimeter and uh, it's actually got a setting here for diode so uh, I'm going to turn a knob to that and uh, put it on the diode end so you can see the uh, there is an open circuit right now I'm going to connect the black connector to the anode which is the positive electrode and connect the uh, the red connector to the uh, cathode and you should see no change in the open in the circuit it's still an open circuit right so the current is not flowing in this direction now if I switch the uh, the diode around and I put the cathode to the black connector and then the red connector to the anode you see a difference see so we know it's working so that's good <laughs> good to know that my uh, 1 20th of my Chinese purchase is working this is the finished product as you can see the diode is connected uh, I've got those those bumps you see there are <laughs> the soldered uh, connections and the wire ends up is terminated at this end by these uh, fuse taps so um, we just have to insert insert this uh, this end here underneath the the relay connector the mail and uh, we should be good to go to get to the relays you need to uh, take off your rear seat and then remove this out of the way because this and that is all part of one piece that has got to come off and I believe that there's two tabs right there that one and that one that have to be released uh, after you release these two here to pull the whole thing out with the cover released uh, you can see the two relays are here now I'm not sure how my uh, how my wire is gonna pass between those two because the gap between the two is really small so I might have to do a little bit of modification to my to my really nice uh, uh, wire um, to fuse tap connections this is the left uh, relay and you can see the number two uh, terminal is on the left lower left the right relay and the number two terminal is on the upper right so here is the new uh, connector again with the diode connecting to some thinner wire this time and um, I've got uh, the few steps bent uh, accordingly so they're going to go on to the uh, to the relays and hopefully sit a little bit flatter to the side of the relay uh, between the two so let me just uh, put them together and show you what it looks like as you can see I labeled uh, the relays left and right so that uh, I don't get them confused and so I just put a little bit of tape here and here just to keep it as flat as possible for when I shove it back in um, you can see that this one here uh, this is how it looks on the edge view uh, there's a little bit of a gap there but it'll it'll push in once it goes between the connectors and this one here sits a little bit flatter that that's a nicer bend but anyway let's go stick it on the bike and see what happens um, the connectors are a bit long so if they're bent to the side a little bit that's probably not going to be a problem but uh, in between you definitely want to have uh, fine wires in between the two relays and here's the diode outside hope to god i got them connected right because i don't want to go through this again so for the first time i'm going to turn on the bike and see what happens turning on the bike now okay the low beam is on okay let's put on the high beams uh-oh nothing 
Oh, maybe the bike has got to be on. So let's let's start it. High beams. The high beam is on, but the low beam went. And the flat capacitor isn't working. That tells me that I probably got the diode hooked up wrong. So I'm going to take it back out and uh, reinstall it the other way. So I've got the uh, the diode reversed. So what's happened now is uh, I've, um, let me see if I can show you this. As you can see it, the cathode is connected to the right side here, to the right uh, number two. So the cathode is connected to the right number two and uh, shed some light on that. <laughs> Sorry about all of this. The cathode is connected now to the right number two relay uh, pole and uh, the anode to the left. Let's see what happens uh, when we give the bike a start. Okay, put it in the on position. So in the on position, neither light is on. It's in the park, both park lights are on. Start the bike. Low beam is on. Low beam is on, put on the high beams, both are on, excellent, flash the pass, excellent.